Hi ho, Roundtable fans. This is your host, Steven, here. And I'm back with another edition of uh, talking about my favorite band, Kiss. Again, they're on their, you know, farewell tour, and I decided to revisit a lot of their stuff. And um, as much as people do not like their studio albums or think they're not strong, I disagree. There's a lot of albums I do like, and I'll, I'll, I'll go through some of my favorites that I've gotten to. Of course, my tastes change over the years, and albums will move back and forth as to what becomes my go-tos and not. So I'll start off with um, the latest or their most consistent lineup, which is uh, Tommy Thayer, uh, Eric Singer, Paul Stanley, and Gene Simmons. Their two studio albums. First off is, um, this was what, uh, Sonic Boom in 2009, I believe. As after like about 11 years since Psycho Circus, everybody thought these guys are going to become a nostalgia act and just play the old hits. Uh, they bounced back with this one. This one is a Walmart exclusive, which I think was a disaster for them at Walmart. It, it took me, a, I had to fight to get this thing. You know, I think there was like two copies in the store and they didn't even know where they were. Um, production, it's a little uh, iffy on that. Um, I don't like the way some of it sounds. Um, it sounds compressed, uh, but I do like, I have to say, Modern Day Delilah is a fantastic track. Russian Roulette is not bad from Gene. I like also Stand. It's a great song with Paul and Gene on it. All for the Glory with um, Eric Singer. Great little number. And Say Ya, yeah, the album Closer, is a really great number. I think they still use it a lot of times in their show. Next up, Monster. A lot of people did not like this one. I thought it was a little bit more Kiss finding their footing now bringing in some of their, I think the influence of the who is evident on this. Um, Hell or High Water, um, so Hell or High Water, excuse me, Hell or Hallelujah, great, great track. Uh, Freak is not bad. Um, Shout Mercy, underrated song, should have been a single, I think, in my release, in my opinion. Long Way Down, Eat Your Heart Out is a great gene. The acapella intro is really great on that. Um, All for the Love of Rock and Roll from Eric Singer great track and I'm gonna have to say there's a bonus track on this called right here right now sounds like it came off the love gun era really great um, I think it's a good album I'm not saying it's a masterpiece by anything but if you like a good solid rock album that was it um, as for their other album, I'm gonna go start off with their debut which came out in 1974 Strutters on here nothing to lose firehouse Cold Gin and Deuce, 100,000 Years, Black Diamond, which most of these songs are played live in one form or another, Arnold. Staples, probably, in my opinion, the most underrated debut album in rock. It has all their hits, like their biggest staples, some of their biggest hits on there. You know? Just they weren't flushed out until the, the, the live albums, and then, you know... Next up, I'm going to say that I really like from their classic era, Love Gun, which uh, is from 1977. You know, you have I Stole Your Love, Christine 16, Shock Me from Ace Fraley, great track there. Love Gun, of course. Hooligan, underrated song from Peter Chris, uh, Plaster Caster. You know, can't go wrong. Again, the production. If the songs sound better. Some of the songs do sound better live. But... This is where they started, and I think it's still a solid album for it. Um, rock and Roll Over. Uh, this came out, when did this come out? 1976, I believe. This was the follow-up to their Monster Destroyer. I'm using the Monster Destroyer again. Um, you know, I Want You, great app, opener from Take Me is a great song, Calling Dr. Love, Ladies Room, Baby Drivers, a great rocker from, from Peter Chris. Um, what else? Hard Luck Woman is another one, and Making Love. Great tracks on here, good album. Could have been a little harder. I see why people can, like, gravitate to the live versions. It did, they kick more a little, but still, good album. For their classic lineup, for me, Destroyer. I mean, it's sounds all plays out like a movie that leads into their live show. It has everything you could want. Great, a great ballad with Beth. Um, you know, the anthem, Detroit Rock City, the the dark God of Thunder. You know, uh, do you love me? Shout it out loud. Another anthem. 
These are staples in their live show for a reason. Bob Erzman really brought up the production. This is probably the best sounding Kiss studio album, in my opinion. Next up, um, underrated Creatures of the Night, I believe 82. Uh, the title track, Creatures of the Night, Satan Sinner, probably the most underrated Gene Simmons song. Great lyrics, great vocal performance by the guy. Um, I Love It Loud, I Still Love You, phenomenal, uh, over six minute long ballad, and the War Machine from Gene Simmons. Uh, I mean, this is like a, the drums on here, unheard of. Like, I mean, the hardest sounding drums you're ever gonna hear. I challenge anybody to find somebody that the drums don't blow your ears off when you listen to this. Great album. These guys were hungry to prove themselves again after Disastrous Elder and their disco albums didn't, didn't resonate with the fan base. Um, great, great, great album. I think it's underrated. The more I hear it now, the more I appreciate this thing and, and, and really, really get back behind it. I love it. Creatures of the Night has to be in your, your collection. Uh, next up is Lick It Up 83. This, of course, is when they took off the makeup. Um... They had to find, you know, they needed something. They, you know, Creatures of the Night, as great as it is, didn't set the charts on fire. And um, these guys needed to do something drastic, and they took off the makeup, and it worked. This album went platinum for them, brought them back. Um, I really like Exciter, really super song from, from Paul Stanley. Um, Lick It Up, obviously. Young and Wasted by Gene Simmons is good. Gimme More is a great rocker. All Hell's Breaking Loose with a great rap intro by Paul Stanley. A Million to One, underrated ballad by Paul Stanley. This, this sh that should have been a hit for him. Um, and a lot of people don't like this song, but I like it on the eighth day, the last track. On the eighth day, God created rock and roll. Great little ender for this. This is another time when the band were hungry and wanted to prove themselves. And when they're hungry, they can do a good job. Next up, Revenge. After many years of Gene Simmons being basically non-existent in the band and, and just phoning in his tracks, uh, he comes bouncing back with Unholy, Domino, Thou Shall Not, Spit. I mean, Gene Simmons, this is the Gene Simmons album. If the Most of the 80s were the Paul Stanley albums. Gene Simmons says, I'm making my album and this is it, right? Uh, but Paul is no slouch either. I, I enjoy Take It Off as, as cringy as it is um, by today's standards. Um, Tough Love is not bad. I like better, um, what's it called? Heart of Chrome. Um, and of course, God Gave Rock and Roll to You. And then of course, again, every time I look at you, the greatest kiss ballad of all time. You, everybody says Beth or for every time it blows it out of the water. If you're looking for the best kiss ballad ever, it's on this thing, on Revenge. And uh, Revenge came out when in 80, 92? 91, 91, 92, something like that, right? During the grunge era, which I think hurt it. And of course, Mercury and Polygram did a horrible, horrible job in promoting this album. And it just didn't do as well as everybody thought it would. And that's my choices for the Kiss albums, for the studio records. Of course, my, my tastes will change as time goes on and I'll flip them over and, or I'll pick something else. But for now, those are it. Those are my go-tos. And um, I hope they do record a little bit more studio. I hope maybe not a full album, but you know, a couple of new songs on a live compilation. Do like a live too. But those are my selections. So let me know what you think. Uh, hit that like button. Subscribe. Let me know what are your favorite Kiss albums. Tell me which ones I missed. All right, so this is Steven from the Around Table telling you to, to party all night. And, no, rock and roll all night and party every day. And live the rock and roll dream. All right, take care.